Hello everybody, Jed here, and welcome back to another Immortal Empires Total War Warhammer free playthrough where we are going to be playing as, well you can probably guess it, we are going to be playing as Gorok, who also starts with the cheat mode Lord Croak. <laughs> also, I'm intrigued by the barrier hit points when defending, if that's going to, how that's going to work, because I'm not sure that was there before, but anyway. Obviously, starting in a fairly uh, central place in Lustria. I'm basically picking people who start everywhere. So, obviously, we've started over here with our dwarves. Over here with Loki. I'm going to be playing Teclas as well over here. And uh, Gorok only here, over here. The only place I'm not going to have really played is Nagarond. But, yeah. Anyway, let's... I, I do love the fact we've got a lovely little lore tab here as well. Um, not really had a huge play. I've had a very little look at his start position. It looks tasty. Obviously, we've got Crokey, which is going to make life much easier, depending on how he is. And the new Primal, primal Instincts buff, which is huge and is going to make a huge difference. Because from 50% health, you get the buff and you don't rage anymore. Which is just insane, guys. I mean, it's... It's beyond insane. You still have control. You get physical resistance as well now. Um, you know, you still control the units. So this is all of your units which raged beforehand. Which would rage because the primal instincts beforehand have this. So, yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. Okay, obviously development, very much development and progress. A big thank you to Creative Assembly for this, for the access, and obviously because of that we probably will get buffs. Okay. And obviously, straight away we have chaos. You can see all around us. Some corny boys there, some nurgle, nurgly boys there. So yeah, let's actually look at our, our campaign goals here. Because I've not done this in any of them yet. So victory conditions. Yeah, short is just to uh, defeat the following factions. Which is probably what we're going to aim for to start with. Um... You know what? The long isn't too bad. It's just 70 regions. It's all local. I mean, this is obviously the ridiculous one. <laughs> but I think that's all... Are they all local? They are! Okay, so that's actually a nice goal. I like that, the fact they've got better long campaign goals. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, I guess we are... And first fight, we always fight. Let's let our lizard men eat some nurglings. That might not be a good idea. And obviously, we've got Croaky with us. I don't know how he's been changed, if he's been changed massively. Obviously, there have been a lot of changes. This is the main thing. Melee attack, charge bonus, and resistance. I mean, the charge bonus isn't so huge, but yeah. That Primal Instincts buff is going to be tasty for us. I was tempted to play Crocky because of the cheap army, but I wanted to be over here, especially when playing Teclas. And I suspect other people will be, will be playing Crocgar. Yay, we got some more magic by channeling. Keeping these guys behind because they're acting as my ranged. Come on, Chaos. Are you not? Are you gonna be cowards and sit back? Oh yeah, well, they do have uh, plague toes. <laughs> I'm not particularly worried about this battle, but I want to make sure we do it properly because you know.
Oh, he should be central. That's a huge area. Here they come! Let's just pop some plague bearers. Just stay still, that's right. Oh! Popping a lovely shield. Get Gorok over here, please. May as well. Ah, oh, no, it's, that's just the range it can go to. Finger. Oh, it doesn't hurt my allies. I'm at a, I always forget that with this one. So yeah, this 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 didn't last long. I mean, we knew it was never gonna last long, guys, didn't we? Right, everyone fall back. I was just going to leave Gorok fighting him, but yeah. 20 lizards lost. Oh, It definitely wasn't a close victory, that's for sure, guys. That is very much for sure. Experience. Room March just doesn't feel anywhere near as worth it now. Obviously, we need to push on straight onto here. Oh, looks like I have to fight it. Oh, this will be interesting. Minor Lizard Man Settlement. I don't actually think I'm going to lose any units here. Oh, that looks cool. That looks really cool. And my best bet is to push one flank because with, usually I'd suggest separating, but with um, Crokey, a single flank is going to be best to force the enemy to but to uh, mass up against our forces as we push through. Um, That is a very shiny map. But yeah, we're just going to literally push straight down the center here. No subtle. No subtle control A. I want them all to to bunch up on us, basically. Once they're through, I'm going to use the small, small one. Ooh. 
Ooh, I forgot about that. That's huge as well. Let's get our dino smashing gates or the walls even. This is just so OP. That's not good. Right, let's break that gate. I need to cap the center as quickly as I can at this point. Sending a single unit that way. Let's engage, wait for both of their units to be here. And it's boom time! Oh, not the best positioning, to be fair. But still, let's make Nurgle pop. center and sending a unit around there to destroy those towers. Oh god, they've got a lot of magic towers. Let's just all get to the goddamn... Oh, it's over. <laughs> Bit more damage than I'd hoped, but definitely not a Pyrrhic victory. Uh, we are playing in hard hard, so it should have been harder than that. Um, then again, Lord Croak is cheat mode, let's be honest. Because you just blow everything up. And especially there when you push as a one mass. Uh, he's just so goddamn powerful. And they've got no range to take him out. I mean, as a player, I would just focus all my range on him to kill him. I mean, who doesn't want extra gold, guys? <laughs> Okay, nobody wants any packs with me yet. Um, I'm intrigued to seeing this because it's it's interesting to see the changes already and how the look of it, look of the place is. So. Buff my Saurus Warriors. Cause the nice thing about Saurus Warriors is they are really good until even right till the end of the game. I mean, Deliverance of it, so we'd be silly not to. Because. What's the upgrade actually do? I think it mostly just lowers the cost. Which is huge, because then I can ping those spells off more. Once you've got them all fully buffed and you've got all the magic buffs and you potentially have a skin priest in the army as well to give you even more magic. It's just insanity with Croak, with Croc, uh, with Lord Croak there. Because he can just basically constantly charge, explode things. Ooh, raise or sack three different settlements. Oh, I don't like raising or sacking settlements. Your cold-blooded kind are the true guardians of You may Hello, Red Axe, my old friend. On the earth still. Red Hulk. Red Hulk. I am keeping a very close eye on them. Ooh, and we've got almost all. There's only one chaos I've not seen now. Mm. Gonna start building that for Skinky Boys. Well, not for Skinky Boys. I don't care about Skinky Boys for, uh,. Let's be honest, for uh, Croxigors, because Croxigors are awesome. Mm. 
Why did that ha quest have to be sack or raise? Oh, they've played themselves. Because of course they have. Why wouldn't you give yourself plague? It's amazing how quickly the amount of factions goes down, guys. Unseen by warm blood eyes, the geomantic web. Okay, okay, okay. I know all about geomantic web. Serpent Lair of Quetzal. Uh, not bad. Obviously, straight onto growth occurs. Growth is good, and we unlock the Tablet of Spawning, which is good. It's all good, basically. Oh, yeah, I should have sacked it first. Uh, that mission is just a pain in the bum. Oh look, Skaven. Growth if oh, I say that. Reducing the plague for the moment. Cause having high control increases your growth. Daft as it sounds. So actually it's it's working out the balance properly of whether or not it, and I'm not gonna do the maths on screen. But higher control gives you all sorts of buffs. And already gone down. I admit the I did one, so yeah. So plus 25 growth by getting to top, which is kind of big. I think I deal with Skaven first, if I'm honest. Oh yes, red crested skinks aren't act are actually kind of worth it. I say that are they worth it compared to? Other than being substantially cheaper, I don't really think so. There we go. Quartals, I'm not really a huge fan of them. Um, Park of Sotek Bastilladon? I didn't think that. Oh, Ark of Sotek's wrong one. I'm derping, I'm getting confused by what's what there. Hmm. I want the control for now, get my place happy. Before we go, Skaven killing. And obviously Skaven killing is going to be made much, much easier by the fact that we have a... Uh, we have a C Lord Croak with us who is just going to blow Skaven up. I know I've got corn, corny boys to the north of me who are potentially more of a threat, but oh yes, please. I mean, I'm just going for this. Similar strength. Yeah, I don't believe that for a second because we are going to croak them to pieces. Oh, oh. Oh, it might be more scared. Oh, God. I may have messed up, guys. <laughs> oh, God. That's a lot of scared. But 
we actually have a fairly solid map. I'm not channeling magic there. That's quite good. They're going to watch the flank just in case. are a floating force to go where needed. As long as they don't have any catapults. They're so going to have play claw catapults, aren't they? Oh no! What will I do? Sorry, I just needed to die for a minute then. <laughs> I mean, it just feels foolish of them. They may have some play cool catapults because I think they start with them, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, some of them are trying to get around. Ah, uh, yeah. That's right, bait them in. they stop I'll I'll chuck a spell on them but here oh yeah To him. Oh, this is beautiful, guys. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. Fine. I love the fact I've got the ability to stop rampage, even though I don't rampage anymore. Right, I want these guys to flank around into the rear there. Soon, we're going to send off another big boom. <laughs> oh, this just feels wrong, guys. Sides, <laughs> 
Pop a heal on them. Basically, if I can trap all of them in there, that is perfect for me. The best saving up. Ah, they did have play claws. Okay, this is the danger. Ooh, she needs some support back this way. Gorok, get your butt on them, please, on their lords. Plague calls are the real threat. This is good because we can drive them together there, they will break. I need to advance fast to deal with those catapults. You push forwards. I want you killing the warlord. Good, they are healing up. Skinky boys go deal with them. The rest of you guys folded there nicely. Blow another load of Skaven up. Even if we lose this, we're going to have damaged them enough that I'll be able to rebuild beforehand, but it's still not ideal. This is brutal, guys. Oh, Gorok, kill Lord Scrog. Breaking him might well give us some good buffs. Oh god, you don't want to be that far forward. Oh, the poor Skaven there. I need these guys to give me some weight to push through, though. No, you guys can push forwards. Push! You guys, I need you over here, full speed ahead. In fact, I'm just going to tuck you straight onto the plane claws. Whew. If I can get my dino boy onto the plane claws. That's perfect. Oh, Scrooge's coming home. They're about to crack utterly. Oh, 
Good dinosaur. Just stop them shooting. And it's over. Ooh, that was tasty. How many? How many? Oh my god. I mean, just look at those piles, guys. <laughs> I might... I, I might like Lord Croak, because... Good god. And the new buffs just mean that the lizard men hold much better. I We did struggle a bit. And it was a bit hit and miss, but we've... Every one of the Skaven forces has taken huge losses there. I definitely need the replenishment. Hmm. Try to work out what else to get. Start some buffs for myself now. I know I've just, just broken one of the rules I usually always say. There you go, arcane conduit. And then I want to buff all of these up to make them cheap as chips. Really? I don't believe it. Oh, yuck, there's walls. Okay, this might have been foolish. This was definitely foolish. I didn't realise there'd be walls here. Derp, derp. Walls and plague claws. Ugh. Ugh. Here, where I can pretty much just push straight through to the center. Gonna send my shieldless ones up first. No subtle here, guys, just charge. Subtlety is not gonna be beneficial for us here, basically. If you want a cluster there, you can blow up. Go. 
Lots of little explosions here. Let's heal up Crokey. Kill Skrog, please. I want you guys just to keep pushing through. Why are you using the goddamn ladder? Troops seem to have got it themselves in a bit of a mess there, but never mind. Let's go shatter that. No, no, we're just going to keep going this way. Time for a bit of good old control A action. Oh, and you guys can stay destructing that. He says when he changes his mind very shortly afterwards. They're just running away before I get to them. It's hilarious. I mean, Gorok to accept and we just pop them. It's just wrong. I do need to be a little careful of my magic, though. I probably should deal with those catapults, but nope. Especially as they're going to be out of line of sight shortly. If we can just train to the center, even if I take losses, it's fine. <laughs> Look at them are all disappearing as they approach. You know what? You guys down there can all push that way. We've already won this, guys. No subtle, just charge. <laughs> I didn't even make it there. <laughs> oh, dear me. I mean, we took quite a few losses there. I would definitely call that. I mean, we'll call it Pyrrhic because we've still got, got, got Lord Croak, but wow. I, and Croak did far less damage there, but his damage was far more precise, far more controlled.
Oh, I should have sacked it first. Nice. Should have sacked it first. I'm an umpskull. Ooh, yes, please. I can get some feral cold ones. Oh, yeah, and we've got the buff for killing. What buff do I get for that? And mute to patrician and minus five control for enemies. Nice. Anyway, that's where we're actually going to leave it for today, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have been enjoying this playthrough. Um, if you are, obviously, as usual, please do like and subscribe, guys. And please pop a comment down below letting me know what you think of this video. Uh, let, let me know what you think. Um, as always, an extra special thank you to my channel members and patrons, uh, Monsterbound, Philip F, Unnamed, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jason Air, and Jared Horn. Just to remind you guys, you can, um, this will all be published on your Discord channel and over on Patreon if you do want to splurge it. Other than that, guys, thank you to everyone for watching. Cheers all.